Okay, hello, 640, it is 6.15 p.m. So today was an interesting day with the planetarium. That thing was awesome. They brought it up out of the floor in the middle of the lecture hall, like 15 feet. They got it in the 60s. It was a couple hundred thousand dollars back then. It is nearly a half a million dollars to replace that thing today. So they don't use it a lot, but it is very cool. Pretty much just looked at how the observer's sky changes around the Earth and how our zenith changes. Those are terms that you may need to look up if you haven't taken a class. I didn't know until a week ago. And now, I have done a lot of work and I've taken a shower already, so I'm clean. I actually mowed across the street, so there's more progress. And, um, iPhone. Today's the iPhone 5 day. It's pretty exciting, I think. I had class from 1.10, so I got the first 10 minutes. They actually started right at 1 o'clock. But, of course, they talked about the retail stores and the iPhone and the iPad and Macs. And patting themselves on the back for all the great work they've done, which was fine. Uh, but that took up most of the time. So then on my bus ride back to the car for 5 or 10 minutes, I read all the stuff. And it was really nothing unexpected. I kind of hoped there would be that one more thing at the end that would be something that we haven't already heard about. But nonetheless, I'm excited to get it. Four inch display, um, LTE, which i am never really cared about a whole lot because the 4G, 3.5G, the 4G, not the 4G LTE, but the 4G here in Ohio is pretty fast already. It used to be faster. It used to be about 12 down, four up. Now it's like four down and two up, but it's still very usable. So now we'll have LTE, which the city of Cleveland has. I don't know if it's gotten down here yet. Um, so that's good camera hasn't really changed. It's a little bit thinner. That'll be welcome. And then the new form of, of charging and syncing through the lightning port. And anyways, I just made a tech video kind of talking about it. I, I just realized I left a couple of things out. I wanted to talk about how the, the headphone jack's now on the bottom, which I really don't like, I don't think. It's going to take a lot of getting used to. But that is now exporting. I'll get that up on the channel. Uh, no texts. That is good. <sighs> okay. All right. Talk to you later. I am halfway done to the second with this, Cars That Want to Kill You, Road Testament, with Matt Farah and, uh, and that guy that needs a haircut. Um, and that's pretty interesting. They're talking about ten cars that are just, they want to kill you, as in the Reliant Robin with one wheel in the front, or this Aerial Adam with a 500 horsepower V8 and 14 pounds of material making it, holding it together. The Vector was in there. Uh, a couple other cars I didn't really know much about, but that's interesting. I, r I rarely watch Road Testament because I talk too much about racing, and I hate racing. Uh, but this is a good one, like Matt Vera. And the export is almost done, which is good news. Under a minute remaining, and uh, it's a beautiful night, so I might call Alex or somebody and see if they want to go downtown and car hunt. Maybe we'll see another M5 or SLS AMG. There has to be something downtown. This is the one that I followed uh, yesterday, I think. Z8. If you saw the license plate there, it's like five Z's and then an eight. It is beautiful. It's a little dirty. Never a big fan of that body style, but it's that's a nice one. Almost lost you guys there. The camera wouldn't turn on. I was trying to film another car and the camera wouldn't turn on. Pulled the battery out, put it back in, now you're working. Welcome back. Finally repaved this parking lot and they fixed where the sidewalk exploded and threw water all over the road. Remember that one day in August when this road was closed right here? Turns out the sidewalk blew up, so they replaced it and did the parking lot. Good job. Does anybody else think that's really ugly? And that? Four eighty, four sixty SL. All right, Grandpa's in town. Uh, Five sixty SL. That's a different one. And there's the Z eight. I, I don't know. I, it's an odd look, but it's cool. Leave me some thoughts below of the BMW Z8. Yeah, uh, when there isn't anything else to do, or anything else I want to do, I guess I do that. So the vlog is in progress at uh, 4 minutes and 6 seconds, so I'm not going to talk your head off, but today was Wednesday. Tomorrow will be Thursday, and I'll talk to you then. Good night.